Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Everything okay? Okay, we are 13. Someone good evening, uh, my know. Let's see if everything is okay over here. I was working on the document that I'm going to send you with the, that you can practice at home. So I'm about to finish, but I haven't finished yet. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay, Don Julio. Thank you, Silvia. Thank you, Ana. So please hey, help. Teacher. I'm sorry, Don Julio. Teacher, oh, I disculpe. Yeah. Este, fíjense que la plataforma para hacer los ejercicios ha habilitado el módulo 3. Entonces, este, he intentado Ajá. contactarme con, 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 ¿cómo se llama? con la corporación, pero no me han dado respuesta y ya probé antes de iniciar la clase y no está habilitado todavía. Ah, para el módulo este que estamos llevando. Exacto. Ok, voy a comunicar a, 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 la, a alguien. Ok, que les sí, dicen. Sí. Uh -huh. Con gusto. Por favor. Gracias. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Thank you, Mino. No problem, but the good thing is that you are here. So we are 16, 16 right now, you and me. Uh, one minute and we go with the topic. Well, we can start reviewing. So uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, more people is, is coming. So we, I guess we, we can start. In order, okay, yesterday, oops, uh, let me just uh, project that over here. And well, let me ch let me see if I can change this one. I have a better order and a better, uh, let me see if I can change it. Okay, it's not that good, but uh, it will work. <clears throat> okay, guys, so yesterday we were working with uh, going to. We use going to for what? What is the idea? What is the, the goal to use going, be going to? Does anybody remember? Anything that you say will be okay. Uh huh. Hello. 
What is the goal to use going to? When I talk about future. I'm sorry, when you talk about a ah, future, yes, okay. You, we use going to when we talk about near future, plans for the near future, not in a month, not in a year, okay? I, even though people use it, but uh, you use when something is says in, uh, it, in, in a couple of days, okay? So we have a chart over there that it says, are you going, look, uh, uh, listen to me. I guess, I guess I read this one yesterday. And it says, are you going to do anything this weekend? And affirmative. People respond, yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Are you going to do anything this weekend? In the negative way, people said, no, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. So is Kayla going to have a party for you? And that says, uh, yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. Is Kayla going to have a party with you? This is about the conversation over there. And it says, no, she isn't. She's going to take uh, to take me out for dinner. Are you? Are the waiters going to sing a song to you? Yes, they are. Okay, they are going to sing a happy birthday. Are the waiters going to sing to you? No, they aren't, but they are going to give me a cake. Plus, uh, I guess it was Sylvia. Uh, uh, so we use the future to talk about, uh, we use going to, to talk about the near future. Look over there. What is the composition over here? Uh, affirmative, affirmative sentences we use. Subject plus be going to plus verb. And then, so yes, no questions. Okay, yes, no questions. We use so, uh, be, am, um, is, are plus subject plus going to plus verb. For example, this one over here is a yes, no question. This one. This this one is a yes, no question, okay? Are you going to do anything special? Yes, I am. That's affirmative. Are you going to do anything special? No, I'm not. So these three questions, these three are yes, no question. Uh, what am I looking for when I, uh, when I, yes, no questions, we use yes, no questions when we are confirming information. For example, are we going to have a class on Thursday, November 2nd? Yes or no? Are we going to have a class on Thursday? No, yes or no? we're not. No, we are not. Good, excellent. So it says, estaré participando. Okay. Okay, thank you. Es, eh, so no, we are not. And that's a good answer. Why? The subject repeated, uh, the subject used in the question usually is repeated in the answer. In this question, I ask you, so all of you, are we going to have a class on Thursday? No, we're not. We're going to have a free day. So that will be the answer, okay? Uh, Marvin, are you going to have a class tomorrow? English class? Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Good, excellent. Yes, I am. I'm going to have a class. Uh, let's see. Let's see, uh, Ana Gabriela, is Marvin to, uh, going to have a class tomorrow, an English class? Is, yes, I am. Is Marvin, 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 is Marvin Marvel. going to have a class tomorrow? Yes, yes he? I, yes, he? Yes, he, 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 yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, so we use subjects at class. Are you, Ana Gabriela, going to have a class tomorrow? Yes, she is. You, 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 you. Yes, I? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Exactly. So 
does yes no questions what am i using yes no questions to find information confirmar information that's that's why i use uh yes no question for example if we uh yeah and the short answers we say we say uh yes plus subject plus b yes i am yes he is uh yes she is uh yes you are uh, yes we are uh yes they are okay and the negative no plus subject plus b plus not okay so we say uh, no i am not no you aren't no he isn't no she isn't no we aren't no they aren't okay so that's the idea of yes no questions Okay, let me just go back a little bit to see uh, uh, this in context. Oh. Okay, here we are. Look at the conversation over there. Let me see if I can take uh, this one out. Ah, okay, good. Okay, there we have Look over there. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Angie says. And what Phyllis respond? What is Phyllis respond? Well. Well, I'm, I am going to celebrate my birthday. birthday. Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. That's for sure. Okay. Because uh, Felix's birthday is in two day, three day max. Okay. Ah, but it says this weekend. Yes. And they said, well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. And then Angie asks, is your birth, uh, when is your birthday exactly? Well, this is not, yes, uh, this is not using to be, but it says in August 9th, Sunday. And then it says, Angie, so what are your plans? And what Phyllis respond? And what Phyllis and what uh, Philip respond? Well, well, my friend, my friend Kayla, Kayla. My friend Kayla is going to take my out for okay. dinner. Uh huh. To take me out for dinner. Why it says my friend Kayla because he's talking about friend uh, Kayla. That's why he uses. Uh, uh, he uses is, and then it says, it says, Angie, oh, nice. Is she going to order a cake? And then uh, Philip respond, Elsa, Cecilia, what? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, and the writers are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Okay, is uh, uh, when do we use probably, maybe, when we are not sure about it, but it's very slight possibility that uh, mean that they are not going to sing. There is a big possibility that everybody's going to sing the happy birthday over there. So there are some examples and context. I'm sending you this one. I said that I don't have the audio for this one, but you can read and, and look at the examples over there. Okay. A any questions? Any questions? So that's what we have. Yes, no questions. And we have uh, uh, sure answers. One important thing, for example, look over there at the questions. Are you going to do anything, uh, ex anything this weekend? Yes, I am. It could be, sería suficiente to say, yes, I am. But people expect more information. That's why uh, the person said, yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my um, my birthday. So Felix said, yes, I am. I'm going to uh, celebrate my birthday. Otherwise, we say, yes, I am. And then uh -huh, and Kayla will say, what's up? What else? Okay. And 
American people or English speaking uh, in native speakers or people, when you speak and you give a negative uh, sentence, a negative no, people expect the correct information. So it says, are you going to do anything this weekend? No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Okay. Oh, okay. And what are you going to do at home? I'm going to watch TV. I'm going to clean my room. I'm going to play some video games. I'm going to study. I'm going to do anything. Okay. So always use I'm going to do. Another is that we use the form, the base two. This one this one, guys, is the infinitive in English, too. And after the infinitive, we always use uh, we always use the simple verb one, simple present, uh, based form on the verb. To, uh, to celebrate, to stay, to invite, to take, to watch, to clean, to sing, uh, uh, so we use go, uh, uh, to to work, to play, etc. Okay. Okay. Uh, going on this one. Look at the sentences. Let me see. I don't see this one. Uh huh. And then I say, look at the sentences and complete them. I don't see it with this one. Uh huh. I mean, yes. Number one. I'm sorry? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now I can see. So look at the sentence uh -huh. and complete uh, and complete then. Look at the uh, statements. What is number one? Going to celebrate his uh -huh. birthday this weekend. I I am going to celebrate. Ah, uh, but we say his weekend. His birthday. Let me so he, he is going to celebrate his birthday this weekend. Ah, yes. I feel like is going to celebrate his birthday this weekend. Going to take him out for dinner. We're talking about Philip and Angie. Senia, Esmeralda. What will be the sentence? Remember that we're talking about Philip and Angie. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. So we say okay. Kayla. Uh-huh. Because we are going to talk, uh, we're talking about Philip and Kayla. I'm sorry, it's not okay, or Angie. Well, Angie, Kayla, I guess. Uh Kayla is going to take him out for dinner. Going to order a cake. What it will Angie be? is going Angie? to order a cake. Uh, it's Kayla. I think I changed the name. I'm sorry. Yes, Angie. Okay, Angie, Kayla is going to order a cake. Good. And going to sing happy birthday. Who are going to sing happy birthday? On the waiters? The waiters. The waiters. So Kayla and the waiters are going to sing the happy birthday. These are affirmative sentences and we use, is not an action at the moment. It's a future and uh, a future activity. So, okay, uh, Luis uh, Nilsson, read sentence number one. Philip is going to celebrate birthday this week. Jacqueline Lorena, number uh, two. Kayla is going to Kay out for dinner. Okay, uh, Marvin Rudy, number three. Kayla is going to order a cake. Okay, uh, Tatiana, number, Tatiana Michelle, number four. Kayla and the wire are going to sing happy birthday. Okay. I'll give you like 30 seconds and think about something that you are uh, sure that you, you are doing after the class or tomorrow. Let's say tomorrow, okay? And you're going to share the sentence with us. 
but you're going to say, I'm going to, okay? Uh, think about something that you're going to do. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, think about something. Uh, Carla Susana, are you ready? Tell, share us, what are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, work. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, going to. to I, I, I going to uh, work. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. I'm going yeah. to work tomorrow. Work. Okay. Okay. No. okay. Uh, Crisis Elizabeth, what are you doing? What are you going to do tomorrow? Crisia? Nubia, what are you, Beatriz, what are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to, to the work. Okay, I'm going to work. Okay, good. I'm going to work tomorrow. Okay, uh, share your answers, uh, your, your activities. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mulatto, what are you going to do tomorrow? Mm, I'm going to university. Ah, you're going to university. Uh, Silvia Andrea, what are you going to go? To, uh, what are you do going to do tomorrow? I'm going to the supermarket. I'm going to go to the supermarket. Okay, you say I'm going to go to the supermarket. Or you can say I'm going to buy groceries at the supermarket or I'm going to buy food. Good, excellent. Tatiana Michelle, what are you going to do? <coughs> I am going to supermarket. I'm going to go to the supermarket. Good, excellent. Okay, so, uh, so, uh, uh, three or four more volunteers. Raise your hand and say what are what are your plans for tomorrow? Uh -huh, raise your hand and and tell us what are your plans for tomorrow. Yes, Julio. Yes, Julio Orantes. What are you uh, What are you going to do tomorrow? I I I am going to buy. No, excuse me. I I am I am going to study tomorrow at night. Okay, I'm going to study tomorrow at night. Or you can say, I'm going to attend my class tomorrow night. Good, excellent. Okay, so those are the plans for the future. Now, there we have some people and you have in the manual over there. So what are these people doing tomorrow? For example, number one, what are they going to do? Use uh, they, use he, use she, etc. What are they going to do on number one? Roberto Adalberto. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? They are doing this one. They are going to. Dance. They are going to dance. Yes, they are going to go dancing. Or you you can say they are going to go, uh, uh, they are going to dance or they are going to go dancing. Okay, what about number uh, two? What is she going to do? She, she's going to read a book. She's going to read a book. Okay, good. Okay. Someone else? Number three. What he's is going to swim. He's going to swim. He's going to swim. He's going to swim. Yes. And what about number four? She's going to run. She's going to run. One possibility. Another possibility. She's going to walk. 
She's going to walk, okay? But the one that you say she's going to run, it's okay, okay? That's a possibility. Another possibility that in a good statement will be she's going to go jogging, okay? She's going to go jogging. Jogging is to go like this, okay? So not, but so those are three possibilities. She's going to go jogging, she's going to run, and she's going to walk. Good, excellent. And what about number uh, four? Number five, I'm sorry. They, they are going to take. Okay, they are going to take, okay, another possibility. Or they are going to dine. Okay, they are to go uh, to have dinner. Okay. They are going to have dinner, one possibility. They are going to have dinner, okay? Okay, I use contractions over the air because when you speak, you sounds more natural, okay? Uh, Elsa Cecilia, number six. Look, what is he doing, guys? What is he doing right now? Uh huh. He is. He's going to. Um, uh, uh, okay, he's going to watch TV. Watch TV. Oh, watch it's, television. Yes, well, watch TV, watch the uh, television. She's going to watch television. And uh, these people at the movie theater. So, what are they going to do? They uh -huh. are going to see a movie. Ah, okay. They are going to see a movie. Oh, okay, thank you, Minor. He's going to watch TV. Good. They are, uh, it says they are going to the movies. Oh, they are going to watch a movie. That would be better, but you can say they are going to the movies. But in this case, we are using going to, okay? So they are going to watch a movie. And the last one, and what is the last one? He is at work. Uh huh. He is going to go out. He's going to work. He's going to work. Yes, he's going to work. Okay. One important thing is that, for example, okay. Uh, we will see in a minute that one important thing we use time expressions. Well, I guess we will see it in a minute. Oops, no, no. Okay. So in January 1st, how old are these people going to be on their next birthday? Right sentence. So Alex, uh, age and birthday. Alex, how old is Ale will going to be Alex? How old is going to be Alex? Uh-huh. He's going to he's be? 76 years old. He's going, he's 76 years old. And the birthday? March 15th. On March uh, 16th. Remember that we say 16th like, like this, okay? So the sentence, what is the sentence? Alex. Uh huh. Alex is going to be seven, 76 on March. March 15th. 16th. Remember that when we use uh, exactly dates, we use the preposition on Mother's Day on May 10th, Independence Day on September 15th, a day of the death on November 2nd. So we use on, okay. Uh, then we have Anita, uh, 
uh, she, uh, 25 years on July 7th. Then we have Peggy and, and Patty, 18th on September 16th. Okay? Please write the sentences and then you. Okay? For example, me, uh, 47. I'm going to say 47. On August, I'm going to get my Wacom. On August 27, oops, more or less, August. Write the sentence. Don't copy everything, just write the, the sentence. Anita is going to be blah, 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 blah. Anita is going to be 25 on July. Uh, 20. 20. Uh, 70. Okay, uh, Anita is going to be 25 on July 27th. Good. Uh, write sentence number two and on the on the chat. What is sentence number two on the on the chat, please? Remember, solo me las envían a mí, not to everybody. Okay, write the sentence. Ah, okay. Okay, Glenda, thank you very much. So be careful. Get home well. Write sentence number two. Ah, uh, Peggy, uh, what is it? Peggy and Patty. I ah, know number three, sentence number three. Peggy and Patty, write it on the chat. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Write it on the chat, please. Number three. Peggy and Patty, 18, September 6th. Let me see. No answers on the chat. Okay, who would like to uh, tell us number three? Peggy and Patty. Ah. ah, okay. Good. Okay, finish your sentence. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you, Julio. Okay, it says Sanita and Patty are going to be 18 on September 16th. Good. Excellent. Thank you, Catherine. Peggy and Patty are going to be 18 on September 16th. Good. So that's, that's uh, let me... No, no pude enviársela a teacher porque el, el teclado me cambia la. Ah, okay. Okay, but you That's say it. something. You say something over there. Thank you very much. Okay. And uh -huh. then and then you say Peggy and Patty are going is going to be okay. So Anita is going to be 25 on July 7 uh, 27. And um and and Peggy and Patty are going to be 18 on September 6th. And you? 
I'm going to be 47 on January 1st. Okay, you were going to say, I'm going to be. And then you put the, your answer over there. Uh, Elsa Cecilia, how uh, how old are you going to be on your on your next birthday? Repeat me. Uh, how old how old are you going to be on your first birthday? No importa que no diga su edad verdadera. Okay, just make it up. <laughs> For example, me, I'm going to be uh, 47, uh, 47 on August 28th. Okay, I'm going to be uh, 25 on okay. November 5th. Okay, good, on November 5th, okay. Uh, Roberto Adalberto, how old are you going to be? I am going to be uh, 31. Okay. Uh, in February. Ah, good. You just say in, in February. Good. Excellent. When exactly in February? Okay. On the on the fourteenth, on the twenty sixth, on the seventeenth. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Uh, the seven. Uh, uh, on the seven. Okay, and then you're going. You say I'm going to be. Uh, uh, 25 on February 7th. Okay, good. Okay, guys, this activity, uh, I will send it to you. This is uh, some calendar, uh, but some exercises. So this is not for the class. This is for you to practice, uh, to participate. Yeah. I mean, to practice more at home. So that's this I, I am putting in the document. And then the sentences over here. For example, says on June 2nd, she's going to play golf after work. Who is going to play golf? We are talking about Beth. On June on June 2nd, play golf after after work. June, June what? What is the day? June? Three. Okay, June 3. June. Okay, remember that we are using uh, ordinal numbers. On your turn, how, what is the activity? Have lunch with Tony. Okay, have lunch with Tony. So Beth, so what will be no, a second number two? Oh, the next one, on number two. We are talking about Beth. You are going to say on June, on June, uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, on June 3rd, she's going to, uh-huh. She's, she's going to have, uh-huh, lunch. Uh, lunch with Tony. Uh, with Tony. Okay, solo eso vamos a hacer porque eso es para que usted lo haga casa. Okay, on June 3rd, she's going to have lunch with Tony, okay? That would be, you will be practicing more about uh, this one. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay. Okay, then we have uh, listen uh, pronunciation. Uh, so, uh, Peggy, I'm going to 14 on July. Ah, oh, thank you, Nubia, thank you very much. Good answer. Reduction of going to, okay? Uh, let's see, uh, Carla Susena, help me with the learning uh, objectives. Notice. Notice the reduction. A reduction. Reduction of going to learn, learn to sew. Uh -huh. sound, 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 natural, 
when talking about future plans. When talking about future plans, okay? Uh, so notice the reduction of going to learn uh, to sound natural when talking about natural plan. Okay, so let me just put the sentence over here. Oops. No. Okay. We have a conversation over there. They are uh, yes, no questions, okay? That's a conversation. Listen. Page 73, exercise four, pronunciation. Reduction of going to. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of going to, to, gonna. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna meet a friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Okay, on the first, on the second sentence, it's like going to meet a friend, okay? Go out with a friend, meet a friend. Okay, it sounds gonna, but we don't use gonna, okay? Because gonna is kind of informal, okay? But it sounds like, but we still say, are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go to go out with a friend and then are you going to go are you going to go to a restaurant yes we're going to go to nick's cafe okay so let's practice como se escucha okay i will make a pause no microphone y usted repite lo que dice okay page 73 exercise mm. 4 pronunciation reduction of going to part a Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of going to, to, gonna. Are you gonna have a party? Okay, everybody, repeat. Are you gonna have a party? Are you gonna have a party? Good. No, I'm gonna meet a friend. No, I'm gonna go out with a friend. I'm gonna meet a friend, whatever. Repeat. Okay, the next one. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Repeat. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Repeat. Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. Okay. Okay, look at the people over there. Look at the people over there, even in plants. Let's see, 13. Even in plants. Develop skill and listening for specific information. Instruction. Uh, uh, Glenda, help me with the instructions. Glenda Elizabeth. It's 5.30 p.m. Uh-huh. I guess you have a, an issue with the microphone, Glenda. Uh-huh. Uh, can we read in the instructions over here? It says okay. it's, it's 5.30. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's 5.30 p.m. 5.30 p.m. What? What, what are these people having mm -hmm. plans? Plans. Right? Right, you? What? in the chart okay right write, write your uh guesses in the chart this is uh michelle is going to go to the gene what about kevin mm, michelle is going to go to the gym 
Okay, Kevin is going to go to the gym. Okay, what about Robert? Someone else? Um, Alguien más? Someone else? Thank Robert. you. Okay, thank you. Robert is going to go to work. Ah, okay. Robert is going to go to work. Okay. And what about Jane? Uh-huh. Who wants to take a, a wild guess? He says, listen to music. Okay. Ah, okay. Listen to music. Write your sentences, please, in your notebook. Okay. I'll give you one minute to write the sentences. Michelle is going to go to the gym. Kevin, I don't know, you, you write your sentence over there. Kevin is going to go to play video games. Okay, Kevin is going to go uh, to play video, video games. Oh, Kevin is going to play video games, whatever. Okay, so let's see what are they going to do. Oh, then the last one is not a uh, Jane. Her name and the audio is Jackie, pero es la misma oración, okay? So let's listen and write your, uh, the correct information according to them. Page 74, exercise five, listening. Evening plans, part B. Listen to the interview. What are the people really going to do? Complete the chart. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? Michelle. I think you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to my friend's house. He has some new video games. Oh, I see. So you're going to play video games this evening? Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Sure. My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jackie. Do you have any plans for this evening? It's my sister's birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to bake a cake tonight. That's nice of you. Are you going to give her a party? Not really, but she's going to come over for dinner tomorrow night. Okay, I'm going to play the video again and I will make a pause and you write the sentence, okay? I'm going to make a pause for about 30 seconds. Not much, no more than that. Page 74, exercise five, listening. Evening plans, part B. Listen to the interview. What are the people really going to do? Complete the chart. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? Michelle. I think you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. Okay. Uh, write the sentence. Michelle is going to. Write your sentence. Going to go to the okay, good. Okay, let's see what's my answer. Uh huh. Michelle is going to meet her friends because they, they or you can say Michelle is, go, is going to go to the park, as you say. Number two. 
And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to my friend's house. He has some new video games. Oh, I see. So you're going to play video games this evening? Yeah, I am. Okay, Kevin is going to... Play video games. Play video games. Kevin is going to play video games. Number three. Can I ask your name? Sure. My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. Okay. Write your answer. Robert is going to... Uh, work at home. Okay, you can say Robert is going to work at work at work at home. And Jackie. And what's your name? I'm Jackie. Do you have any plans for this evening? It's my sister's birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to bake a cake tonight. That's nice of you. Are you going to give her a party? Not really. But she's going to come over for dinner tomorrow night. And Jack is going to... Listen to music. Uh-huh. Bake a cake. Uh-huh. Okay, listen to music. Okay. Uh, one thing with this one, guys, at home, you can say at home or in the house, okay? But not in the home. You say at home in the house. So Robert is going to work in the house. Or Robert is going to go to work, uh, is going to work at home. Good. Okay. A snapshot. We have uh, some holidays in the U.S. Let's listen. Page 74, exercise 7. Snapshot. Holidays in the United States. Listen and practice. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, the fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Okay, listen and repeat. Again. Page 74, Exercise 7. Snapshot. Holidays in the United States. Listen and practice. New Year's Day, January 1st. Okay. New Year's Day, January 21st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. What is oh, Independence Day? I'm sorry, Valentine's Day, February 14th. July 4th. Independence Day, July 4th. Please repeat uh, from there. Halloween, October 31st. Halloween. Thanks. Uh huh. Halloween. When is Halloween? When is Halloween? Today is Halloween. October uh, 31st. Today is Halloween, yes. <laughs> but not in El Salvador. I remember that we used to celebrate a long time ago, but not anymore. And that's good. Giving. The fourth Thursday in November. Thanksgiving. When is Thanksgiving? It's fourth. Thursday in November. The fourth Thursday in November. Good, excellent. And the last one? Christmas, December 25th. Uh huh. Christmas, when? December 25th. December 25th. Good. Uh, do we celebrate any of these holidays in El Salvador? 
Uh, Jacqueline Lorena, do we celebrate any of these holidays? Yes or no? Yes, we do or no, we don't. Mm, holiday or... Do we celebrate any of these holidays or celebrations? No, 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 no. And none of them. What about no. New Year's Day? What about Valentine's Day? Ah, okay. Okay. Independence Day. Yes, we do celebrate it, but not on July fourth. Uh, when is Independence Day in El Salvador? September 15th. On, on September 15th. On okay. September 15th. Exactly. Do we celebrate Christmas? Yes or no? Yes. yes, yes. When? Yes, we do. September. On December? December 24th. 24th. Yes, on December 24th. Okay, how do we celebrate this one? So we are this, uh, what are the holidays in the country? And what's your favorite um, day? Uh, there is no time tomorrow to start with. Uh, I will send you in a breakout room to discuss this question real quickly, okay? Uh, in about five minutes. Today is no time. Okay, we just got four, uh, oops, oops, what happened? Um, okay. Uh, there is a conversation over the air I have a conversation, there is no audio of course, and the conversation is says, what is the conversation? Uh, I have some, ah, October 31st today, aha, uh -huh. okay, yes. Okay, have a good Valentine's Day, okay? Uh, let's see, Mona and girls, who want to help me uh, reading the conversation with me? I need uh, one of you girls being Mona and I am Taylor. Volunteers? Yeah. Okay, hey, girls. Uh huh. Uh, who said yes? Okay, open. Huh? Who said yes? Ah, Glenda. Glenda, please. Okay, you start. Uh, you start. So, Taylor. Uh, so, Tyler, are you going to the anything uh -huh. for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. Uh, how about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to the restaurant, but I am going to go to, uh, to, to a, a dance. dance. Okay. Oh, sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thank you. Okay. Thank so, you. Uh-huh. Thanks. You say thanks. You too. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. you too. You too. Okay, there okay. is no time. It's almost time. So uh, we'll stop here and tomorrow we'll start with this one real quickly and then with the grammar focus. Okay. And to start this one. Okay. Uh, okay, I have another class of the document for you to practice. I will send it tomorrow early. Okay. And uh, there were a few people over there, ah, 20. Okay, let's see, Abel Herminio uh, Mendez Benavides. Presente, mister. Uh, Ana Gabriela Alvarenga García. Present, mister. Claudia Elizabeth Aguirre uh, Gutierrez. Present, mister. Elsa Cecilia Carranza Rodríguez. Elsa Cecilia. Present. Okay. Emily de Los Angeles Villatoro. Present. Okay. Present. Glenda Elizabeth 
Antillón Orellana. Present, Ok, Jacqueline Lorena Campos Chávez. Present. Julio Antonio Orantes Herrera. Present, teacher. Eh, Karen Vanessa Aguilar Romero. Karen Vanessa Aguilar Romero. Carla Susena Ángel López. Present, Mister. Catherine Andrea Sánchez Díaz. Present, teacher. Ok, Kimberly, Na uh, Kimberly Naomi Navarrete Amaya. Kimberly. Crisia Elizabeth Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. Luis Edenilson Díaz Valle. Marilyn Ruby Mulato Gaitán. Present. Marvin Rudy Mulato Gaitán. Present, Mr. Minor Alexander Avelar Avelar. Ah, estaba conectado. Ok, good. Um, ok. Thank you, Minor, uh, for being here. Miriam Janet Villalobos Segovia. Miriam Janet Villalobos Segovia. Nubia Beatriz Rivas Alvarenga. Present chair. Roberto Al Alberto García uh, González. Present, Mr. Uh, Silvia Andrea Córdoba Sarabia. I'm here, teacher. Yes, uh, Tatiana Michelle Pineda Gaitán. Present. And Senia Esmeralda Chávez Lozano. Present teacher. Good, excellent. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Tomorrow we start with a breakout room discussing the questions in five minutes, and then we continue with the topic. Okay, thank and uh, tomorrow is Wednesday, right? Okay, yes, tomorrow we have a class. Okay, see you. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.